Last time, two girls were sent packing. But if last week's dual eviction was a shock, tonight the remaining 10 are all in for a surprise when Oluchi orders everyone to pack their bags. Oh my God, this is insane. We just unpacked some days ago, now we have to pack again. Okay, you can just put everything there, guys. You have to be kidding. This is insane because we only just got here and now we have to pack and leave again. I'm like so confused because oh, we're going only for one night. I'm seriously excited. I think there's a surprise waiting for us when we get there because it seems too simple. This is fabulous. I love the show. Next top model. Fakta and Gamble have given you each a little goodie bag of some basic essentials to help you with your rest of your stay with us. Yeah. Love. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Thank you for coming. Gamble. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Like it's so much, I couldn't even fit it in one hand. The first elimination was really intense because we really didn't know what the judges were looking for. We were just like hoping and praying we were doing the right thing. It's a charger, it's over here. Oh, it has a charger. I know. Oh, that's better. What's that? What's that? It's a toothbrush. <laughs> this is just, I got all this just after the first challenge. I can't wait for the rest of them. Like seriously, I'm gonna go home with excess luggage. <laughs> Since you girls leave, it's kind of a reality check. But now that we're top 10, I feel kind of special. Two girls left. I got more place, space to put my stuff, my shoes, my bag. <sighs> yeah, sad, but good for some of us. Guys, 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 we got our first Luchi mile. Oh. Hey. <laughs> Hello, ladies. Today we saw two of your fellow contestants pack their bags. Tomorrow, the rest of you will be packing your bags. Jaybe. Are you serious? Dana. You are all going to star in a fashion show in Johannesburg. <laughs> okay, that sounds much better. We're starring in a fashion show in Joburg featuring some of South Africa's top designers. Alright. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. So, our plane leaves tomorrow morning early, first thing, so you guys can get packing. La Voluci. When I heard we were going to Joburg, I got so excited. I felt like a five-year-old girl. I've never done any packing like this and moving up and down and things like that. So, I'm so confused right now. This is a first for me. This is so glamorous, flying to Johannesburg for a fashion show. Oh my god, this is insane. We just unpacked some days ago. Now we have to pack again. Okay, like, we can just put everything there, guys. We don't oh, need really? to like carry Oh, you're going to much. hold it, right? We just arrived and now we have to pack our bags again and we're going back to Joburg. This is crazy. Just traveling shoes. Are you taking traveling shoes? No, I'm just taking this. Oh. I'm just arranging my clothes and I'm not decided exactly on what to pack. Like 15 minutes ago. 
Our second challenge is a runway show in Johannesburg and runway is kind of my thing. So I really think I have a chance at winning this one. I'm pretty sure we're going to be getting off the plane and going straight to whatever we have to do. Safira, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. Yeah, but everyone needs to come out like. Omo is linked again. <laughs> <laughs> so all of us are waiting for Omo Me again, Miss X's luggage. We're going for only one night. I mean, how long can it take for you to pack for just one night? <laughs> They're not gonna start anything without me because I'm the real chick, you know that? Chill back. Let's rock Jobo. I'm actually feeling quite nervous for the girls. This is a real show with live audience, photographers, and media. They're going to be in the public eye for the first time. They better not mess up. So we're here in Joburg to star in a charity fashion show for the Mental Health Organization of South Africa, or the Feather of Hope. And I feel very privileged um, to be a part of it, being that I have um, a mentally challenged brother and it feels really good to know that I could give back in my own little way. The fashion show is being directed by Jan Milan, who was part of the team that found me when I was 17 years old. So the girls are in great hands. Congratulations. So I believe you are the Africa's next top model contestants. Yay! Working with Jan Milan is a real honor. Jan's pretty much done everything. Name of fashion show, he's probably produced it, so you want to be able to say you worked with him. We're going to go straight into a fitting with Tula Cindy. Tula Cindy is a South African designer who makes ready-to-wear women's clothing. He has showed his collection in Hong Kong, Beijing, New York and Lagos. In 2012, he was named South African Tourism Designer of the Year, so the top 10 girls better perform. Consider it an honor that you're going to be wearing these clothes. Tula Cindy's designs are amazing. I love his stuff. So to be wearing it on the ramp is a privilege. Once Tula is fitted, he's having a good look at you already. That's what a designer do when the model's walking. He decides who's going to go first in his collection and who's going to go last in his collection. I want to be first face. I don't care about anybody else. I want to be first face. I want to be first so, so badly. Ladies, okay, um, let's do it. I'm happy to have you guys here and let's get to work. Yay! After having a look at the girls, you know, I genuinely love all of them. Um, the one piece of advice with models, I always think they should come in with their best shoes because coming in on flats, it's pretty tricky. You, know, you need to bring your best foot forward. Yeah. It's very tricky. You don't have shoes, right? Yeah. So the girls that came in with heels made an impression stronger than that girls that just came in looking very casual. But at the same time, the transformation is very important. So I'm excited to see that. First face and last face are most important. That's what you want to be in a show. I'd love it if I close the show because it would be really awesome. That means a lot for a model if you get to open the show and close the show because then the designer trusts you with their most important piece. Girls, so what's going to happen now is we've split you into two different groups. There's a group A and a group B. Now group A is eight of you, group B is two of you that's gonna be walking with other models as well in the show. So we arrive at the venue for the show and there are all these other professional models there and all of us are like, what the hell's going on here? Having a look at the other models that work in Joburg. This was supposed to be a top model thing. They're crushing our party. Amito is my name. Yeah. One of the models said, what is that odd girl? I turned and looked at her and I'm like, you calling us odd? Well, I didn't say nothing, but she, that was serious? Cool. she called us weird, girl. What are these b****s doing here? It turns out there's five designers at the show today. And some of the other designers hired extra models, professional models. The way they're acting, they're acting like they're celebrities and stuff. Yeah, like, what they're models. My models are they so I told my girls, let's have a little bit of spice to this show. We're gonna kick this out this game. 
<laughs> okay, tomorrow we have to work as a group because it's one up and all the cards will think we're all screwed, you know what I mean? Well, we're not going to because me and you, we make an awesome team. Yay! I love this dress. I love my dress. Right, ladies, thank you for the fittings. Right next to me, I have the famous Andiswa Mankriwa. I'm going to be a voice today. Andy's lost her voice. So Andy's the choreographer of the show and she's lost her voice. We're going to rehearse the Tula Cindy C now. And we don't know who's going to walk first and, and last because Tula's only making that decision tomorrow morning. And uh, I'm asking you, please don't this up. So, heels, runway, carpets and grass equals wipeout. So Andy had lost her voice. The, you know, you had to read her lips to be able to tell what she's doing because she's using her fingers and hands and making signs and stuff like that. It was really weird. And it's really frustrating in the sense that we have to get this choreography right. Have you got language issues? Uh, did, did you get that? Portuguese girls? And then on top of it, we had to translate for Safira. Girls, it's looking great. Sick. Um, one of the girls is sick. She needs to sit down. Hi. She is afraid of heights. So it's, she's just like a little bit freaking out, but it's okay. And Safira had this breakdown almost, collapsed on the stairs. It, no one knew what was going on because she's speaking Portuguese. Should we bring her some water? She's afraid of Ah. Oh, that's an interesting moment. So everybody like escorted her down the mountain with the stairs and tried to help her. And all that's going through my head is like, whether this happens in the show, we're going to all look like idiots. And then it's going to be like team top model screwed up. Where's she, where's she going? Uh, Andy will slot Tafira in later in some way or the other. So just keep a gap and we continue. I just want clean, simple, crisp walking. So it's Rolani's first time with a fashion show like on the ramp. And I'm really, really nervous for her. Oh my God, is she going to get this right? No, 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 Rolani. Not like this. Yeah, the point I saw Andy going, yeah, yeah, on Rolani, like, do this, do that. We're in trouble, we're not going to sleep today, we're going to be here forever. And she keeps shouting at her, Rulani, with a harsh voice, like, Rulani, move, move, go. I think the other girls are getting really nervous. I really don't want to screw this up. Andy was like, do this, do that, don't do this, do that. It was stressing and nerve-wracking. Rulani, this is her first time, Andy's frustrated. And then Safira is afraid of heights. If we screw up, then Oluchi screws up because we're Oluchi's girls are supposed to be like a teamwork. So there's nothing like this one is scared of that and this one doesn't know how to work or whatever. We're supposed to work as a team. Because it will be tragic if anybody falls off, you know. You guys have to The only fear I have is somebody falling flat on their face. You could actually break your neck if you fall yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is an African desktop model. We rock. So, let's do this. Step aside, here comes the star. Yeah, you can get our autographs later. Some of the contestants were actually checking out the boys in their underwears. Like, seriously? <laughs> the other girls were talking about the guys' packages. They were like, damn, that's big. Who even says packages? Like, package, like. I wasn't looking though, but I just kind of like, that guy got it. Stop sneering. <laughs> Amita is curving a little bit. She wasn't aware that people were listening to her. Yes, the male models are. They were cute, but I don't mix B 
business with pleasure. So. so I want us quickly to run through this before we go into hair and makeup. Make sure that you know what you're doing. Okay, no stuff ups. You, you can stay in front, you can stay in front. For now, you can stay in front. Down. Yeah, after we come down, the last person is supposed to be in front. So we can just spin no, off. Yeah, this time, order. Go. Keep the face. So what are the so-called professional models doing here? Like, this is a top model show, man. No, 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 no. You're going out. All these professional models. It's nerve-wracking. My heart is beating. I'm... It's crazy. That's way. You That's way. Don't move too much on the stairs. Girls at the very back, because... Okay, we need to move on. I'm worried about running out of time. Because there's lots of hair and makeup to be done. So there's the last minute changes and I'm really hoping that everybody remembers where or what they're supposed to do because that was so quick out there. Um, being first or last in the show, I think it will help me in this competition. I've never done the walking and everything, so it's gonna be something different for me. I just feel like get the first first or the last first because when I was in the podium two the, the last time and this time around I want to get to like top two. First and last place is important. So I'd really like to get one of it and I'm hoping I would. <laughs> Good morning, ladies. Good morning. I see you guys are looking beautiful with your hair and makeup. Um, great transformation from yesterday. To open the show, I have chosen Chiandre. I've done it. First phase for Tulasani, that's exactly what I want. To close the show, um, I have chosen Opiemi. It's a difficult dress, so don't fall down. <laughs> <laughs> Last girl, lasting impression. Don't be nervous, but guys, have fun and have a great show. Thank you. I'm on cloud nine right now. This is really my chance to prove what I've got. Is Alicia's is going to be doing the crowd yeah. and all eyes are going to be on me, so I just have yeah, to walk so it. Like, you could be first or last base. Don't be and selfish now. Trip. Of course, you want to be the girl of the day, being your face, being the first to see. And I don't think it's that important. I disagree with all these and it's, and it's just two. We all can't be that too. <laughs> Who cares who's first anyway? I mean... I want her to be last face. But you are. But, you're but not, I'm not. So, yeah. so just suck. Go with the flow. So, so I'll just suck it up and you know. go with the flow. This is it. Please don't stuff up my show. Okay? We've rehearsed you, we've dressed you. Are you gonna give it to us? Yes! Okay. So Jan tells us over and over again, don't screw up the show. And then that's when I realized this is serious. Theme is to go before we start the show. It's crunch time. It's my first time doing this show, so it's a bit scary. Five seconds. Come with me. You can fix it there. Come. And then I need to check you. And you're gonna have to breathe in and bear with it. Christian gave it a feel of New York Fashion Week. You know, backstage and everyone is saying, do this, do that, go this way, go that way. Hello, come see this. So that's the Aluchi judging. So Aluchi is seated in the audience and checking out everybody. And she sees when you walk on the runway, the energy you're using. Now that makes me more nervous. Now you know that she's going to be watching you and judging you. Over here. You're confusing yourself. We stand like we did in the rehearsal. You are not number one now. You were not with us before. If one of us screwed this up, that means team African desktop model, I screwed up. This is, this is your running order, right? Yeah. So you know who's standing where. You know. 
Huh? You know. No, all of you seem confused right now. Yes, they've taken side. somebody out. So, so we're supposed to be standing now. Uh, we were like really worried in our heart. Like, <gasps> Wait, which side are you going? This side? Okay, so then you go all the way over onto the other side at the bottom of the stairs where she stands. And then we next to each other on the top, just behind the fountain. Just behind the fountain. Rulani is going to mess the show up because she's never modeled, she's never done runway, nothing. The fountain is over, Michaela stands on herself, and we standing just behind on the ends of the top, yes? Because I was standing in a different place. I really don't want to screw this up. I have to kick ass. I'm so excited. We had lots of fun. The girls are great. The design is all amazing. God, it was in here. I feel I rocked that show. Opening for three designers, it was amazing. I don't think I have to worry about eliminations. Although, you never know. They were perfect. They were perfect. I saw, I think, one or two, maybe just trip, but to negotiate those steps it could have happened to anyone, especially with those big dresses. I think Team Top Model did really well. At least the other model, I couldn't find them. I was looking for them. They were gone. I was out there watching you guys. I'm so happy. I'm so proud. We had so much fun, and all the chick walks in and say, oh, you guys were great, and you, you were like, woo. Because she was like, oh, you girls taught them how to do it. You kick those girls' butts. You all did such a great job. Seriously. I thought it was one show. And then you guys kept on coming out. And now I was like, that's my girl. Yeah. I had to scream my name. How are you talking yeah. <laughs> The hills, the staircase, the yeah. grass, the rug, yeah. the long dresses. Yeah. It was too much. And you guys did a great job. We are such on a high about everything, and Aluchi just drops the bomb. Back to reality, one of you will be eliminated. And then she breaks it to us that tomorrow one of us is going home. So let's get our butts back to Cape Town. Like hanging on to Wumi, and I'm just like, 
This is a warning sign, definitely. There's this rumor going around that Rulani is bisexual. And I think I might believe it. <laughs> I think it's true. Today, you know, the push, like they're grabbing me, holding me. You girls, what you we asked me if I was bisexual or not. And I was like, I'm bisexual. And I was like, I'm joking. Like, I'm touchy feely. I'm like that. Because at first they thought I was a lesbian. And I was like, no, people, I've got a boyfriend. Yeah, there's nothing wrong if you're bisexual. No, people are bisexual. Yeah, man, there's nothing wrong if you are. No, I'm not. Do you understand just that there's nothing are. wrong if you are? Mm. That's good, but, but I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it seems I touch a lot. It's just I like touching ass. That's me. <laughs> Be bisexual for all we know. She's just the only one I've met. Oh, yeah, you're the best. Baby. How are you, my love? I'm so good. I miss you guys so much. I miss you so much. You can't believe it. I don't think anybody can imagine how much a phone call home means to us. Don't cry now. <laughs> I want to get my own. Don't cry because uh, we'll see you. One of these days again, okay? Okay. Huh? Okay. I felt so proud telling my mom that I was first face for Tula Cindy, and she also knows the designer, so she was ecstatic. And then <laughs> I realized that she's at my grand's house, and I get to talk to my grand, and I get all emotional because <laughs> me and my grand were like soulmates. You're my little angel, and you're a princess, <laughs> and you're the best. You can win everything you try in life, okay? Okay. <coughs> okay, my angel. Okay, Omi. Hello, ladies. The first ever Africa's Next Stop model is standing in this room right now. That's right. Look around. One of you will be walking away with a modeling contract with DNA Model Management in New York. But to have a winner, we have to say goodbye to one of you. But let's say hello to our judges. Model icon and photographer, Josie Warren. Our first resident judge was just 16 years old when she was officially recognized as South Africa's first supermodel. She worked with the biggest icons in the fashion industry and her image has graced the cover of dozens of magazines, TV commercials and advertising campaigns, including one of the most famous billboards in New York Times Square. Today, she spends her time behind the lens as a successful photographer. Our resident judge, Master Remy Adetiba. He's responsible for building so many famous brands in the state, as well as visual presentations of artists. And our special guest judge for today, someone who you're already familiar with, fashion designer, Tula Cindy. Your last challenge was your first fashion show for some prominent South African fashion designers, including Tula Cindy. Considering you all had to walk down that horrible staircase, onto the grass and the red carpet, you all did an amazing job. Photographer Simon Denier was on ground to take some pictures. Let's see how you did. Rulani, step forward. Let's look at your best picture. That's not bad. No, it's great. I mean, Rebby, what do you think? I think she looks great. Um, your leg position, I wouldn't know that you were a rookie. So this is improvement, absolutely. I wouldn't have known it was your first time. So well done. Tula? It's a very good photograph. I thought you could have walked a little bit better, but since it was your first time, it was above excellent, so um, we look forward to more, I think. I was impressed. I mean, I saw the show live with Tula, and you came out, I was surprised. I'm like, who gave her lectures? Like, 
So you have to call Andy and say thank you. Because yes. <laughs> she saved you this week. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. Michelle, I thought you did really well. When you came out, you know, you were, I remember you had a really flowy dress and you were walking with that. So that was nice. Looking at your picture, I mean, you can see, you know, you, I mean, you, you're strong and you, and you have presence, which is always important. Thank you. So well done. I think you show the dress in the way the consumer will want to see themselves. You, you have a lot of strength in the dress and you have a strong walk. Great work, though. Thank you. Okay. Safira, what was the issue yesterday? Looking at her picture, she looked very disconnected. What did, I need to understand what the problem was, because I was highly disappointed. Primeiro porque o tapete, o chão era molhado e o tapete não dava muito bem para andar. Mas eu como tinha o sapato plataforma, bom, esse vestido também estava um pouco apertado. I just thought maybe that was your take on how. A mo you thought this, um, this was a model's face when she's walking, like you're supposed to scowl and be mean. For this, you were supposed to be light and, and almost smile without really smiling, and I feel like you missed that. Um, she has a bit low energy, but now that I'm looking at Safira, at beautiful. this moment, she is very beautiful. Yes. You know, I, I, I can see why she's here. This, it's, uh, Safira, yeah. this is beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> and when Safira came out yesterday, Come I on. didn't see yeah. Safira. The person I'm seeing now is yeah. so different from... You know? She is stunning. I like the way you walk. But it, for me, I'm a bit concerned because there's a street walk. Like, oh, check me out. I'm a beautiful girl. And then there's a fashion show runway walk. OK? It's not about your bum. It's about the clothes. So I want to look at you on the runway and look at the clothes and not check out your behind. It just needs to be a little bit more sophisticated because the outfit is very, very lady, very sophisticated. It was just the walk. The picture is beautiful, but the walk was a little bit too saucy. Thank you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you were one of the people I enjoyed watching yesterday. You really surprised me. Every time you came out, you had you know, a charming ex expression on your face that I almost didn't want to look at. The outfit, I was looking at your face because I was really surprised. Yeah. Um, you said I should think about my personality, so I was trying to channel it back. Very good, very Thank good. You. you transformed a lot from the fitting. Um, you all did, but you the most. Because I was really worried, I was like, this Joyce girl, no, 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 no. And um, I was pleasantly surprised, and the picture is marvelous. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you very much. You're, you're a little too confident, and you have to keep that in mind. Um, people don't sympathize with models because they think you have everything. So you always want to kind of be great, but still pull them in. You don't need to be so stern. I know it's, it's nerve wracking being on that runway, you know what I mean? But don't, don't be too stern. She has really uh, uh, strong facial features, features. Yeah. features. Yes. So she almost need to fake smile Fake more. smile. Mm -hmm. yeah. If I want to pretend to look happy, yeah, I think happy. Maybe because happened to me last week, so I think I'm really like trying to oh, tell myself that I'm like, mm. I was angry, I felt very really, like, Wumi, you just have to do this, like seriously, you need to get yourself up to the top and I'll, I'll change. But you can do it with a smile on your face. You can. <laughs> Did you put this whole entire look together? Did the girls help you? Did you guys help each other? I just asked if it was okay on me, and they're like, oh, it's okay, you can put it on it. That was it. Okay, which one of them said it's okay? <laughs> All the <laughs> <laughs> All right, <laughs> you can go. Yeah. Michaela, let's look at your best picture. Love it. I like the way she was taking out the jacket like a pro, you know? I did a lot of that when I used to do Christine Dio and John Galeano, so you did really well. Thank you. You looked really professional on the runway. And it's not a runway, it's a carpet, so you did a great job, well done. That's true. With this picture, you're struggling with the jacket, but your face does not show that you're struggling, because I know those sleeves were tight. Yeah. And to get a good picture when you're struggling to get a sleeve off, yeah. it's quite something, so I'm, I'm proud of you. Well done. Thank you. Shiandre. You set the tone for the whole show, 
and it was really high energy and to come out high energy on a carpet on a wobbly lawn it, I wouldn't be able to do it you know so um, kudos to you and yeah and one thing that I particularly like was the fact that some of your outfit were not nothing so extravagant just simple dresses but every time you came out you made that dress look bigger than what it is so that was really, really nice. And you didn't let anything bug you mentally. Like you just came out and went for it. I thought your walk was fantastic. You know, I've, the photo, however, you didn't quite nail. And part of the challenge was to nail a photo while you're walking. With, with you, edgy is easy. Okay. Right now, minimal makeup, you look fantastic. So, but with the softer stuff, try to sell that as well. My only thing with that, you need to work a bit on your posture. Yes. You're very pushed forward. You need to push back and up and out. Yeah. You obviously, not, well not obviously, but you were brilliant. You, you're very good. You walk very, really, really well. Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Last but not the least, Okweyemi. Wow. That picture's great. Lovely. Uh, well, I'm very happy with this picture. It's obvious that it's beautiful. There's so much air going through the dress. You've captured that moment and on such a short carpet to get that much movement in the dress is quite something. So I'm proud of you. I thought you did a fantastic job. I think the only thing to keep in mind is not just looking down, but also sometimes that attitude when you're walking and you want to kind of give them face. I saw you looking down and up a bit. You can rein it in a little, so okay. you can be badass without being too bad, okay. that it starts to look corny. Okay. Otherwise, I thought you were really quite solid. You were stellar. Thank you. Now it's time for us judges to deliberate. When you come back, we'll let you know which one of you will be leaving us. thinking? Everyone did really well, maybe a little bit too well. It's going to yeah. be quite difficult to let them go. But Safira, I don't know. She really can't walk. I mean, she with, can't or, pose with, either. with or without heels. Oh, she well, can't pose either. She's so quite, she, but she's got, I feel like that's a face maybe worth it's an advertising working face. for. Just not a mm -hmm. catalog face. Yeah. What about Shiandri? I loved her from the get-go, that's why I asked her to open the show. Mm -hmm. um, she's got energy, she's got spunk, she's yeah. got a strong brow, I love. <laughs> you know? It's true, it's all yeah. about the brows. Yes. I wish she was a little bit taller. Taller, mm. sure. like two inches sure. taller. Yes. Sure. Uh, Rulani? Uh, she, you know, she's amazing. I mean, the fact that she's literally never done anything like this before, I mean, really, she is like a little uncut diamond. <laughs> Yes. Well, there's Amito we haven't discussed, oh. which really... I and mean, what are you thinking about Amito? I thought while her look was great, it did nothing for her proportions. If you're going into a casting and you're bottom heavy, even as a thin girl, you don't wear that tulip skirt. It just <laughs> absolutely... She didn't do herself any favors. No. no. She's a gorgeous girl, <laughs> but it's about knowledge of the industry and knowledge of self. She failed on that front. Let's call them back in. I mean... Okay. Welcome back, ladies. We have reached our decision. I have 10 of you standing before me, but only have nine pictures in my hands. And these nine pictures represent the girls that would continue towards becoming Africa's next top model. The first name that I'm going to call was voted by the judges as the best performer in this challenge. Shiandri. Step forward, please. Congratulations. You have to keep it up. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. The next name that I'm going to call, Rulani. You have to keep it up. I know you're a rookie, but you can do this. Okay? So I want you to get better. Congratulations.
The next name that I'm going to call, Okoyemi. Congratulations, you're still in the room. The judges, we all feel you're a very beautiful girl. But? You take amazing editorial pictures. But? <laughs> Whoever is going to win this competition cannot just be an editorial model. You have to be able to be a fashion runway model and also an editorial picture model. Rosalind, though you're an extremely beautiful girl, this is high fashion. And for you to continue to be a part in this competition, you can't just be the girl next door. <laughs> I honestly thought I did the best. Estou feliz por por ir para casa. Vou encontrar meus amigos, minha mãe, meus pais. Mas eu gosto disso. Eu gostei muito de estar aqui. Gosto de acordar às madrugadas. Gosto do frio de que está o até. Mas eu achei que essa fosse a minha oportunidade de mostrar o que eu sei. Next, on Africa's Next Top Model. Everyone who has been sleeping in this room has been eliminated. You want a witch? I'll show you a witch. I didn't know that I had to go on set topless. How are you supposed to sell sanitary pad? That's disgusting. So are you nervous about Remy? Yeah, because you can never satisfy him. Because the client is here today, it uh, makes me feel more nervous. Next time I should try and compose myself before I go on set. I feel like I can do bad. 